My name is Dr. Katie Bramlett, ear training and oboe professor since 2010. And I have decided to start a series about ear training in music for any musician, beginning musicians, seasoned musicians who want to, you know, work on their ear, that kind of thing. So this is the first video and I wanted to talk a little bit about what is ear training, why do musicians need it, and then cover a little bit about um, the kinds of topics I'm going to discuss in my videos. Um, so what is ear training? Ear training is just a method of practice that helps us better understand what's going on in music. So we get to learn a little bit about the language, how we talk about music and common patterns and um, working, uh, we'll be working on techniques for how to hear these things. Um, I'll include uh, drills and uh, specific practice techniques and even some separate uh, practice videos that will help you apply the things that we've been talking about in the lessons. So why do so many people think that ear training is hard? Well, after teaching it for 10 years now, I think that the biggest issue for most people in ear training is that they have often um, fundamental gaps in their understanding about the basics of music, one, or two, um, they have the understanding of the concepts, but they don't follow through with the practicing part. And it's one thing to understand something and kind of understand how it works, and it's another thing to be able to do that thing proficiently, efficiently, reliably, accurately, all those kinds of things. And that's where practice comes in. So um, that's why I plan on making some practice videos to go along with the lessons. <clears throat> so, so yeah, so here are some of the topics that I plan to cover in my, in my videos. And I've got a list on my phone here. How to hear pitch. So how to find the home pitch or what key uh, a piece of music is in, also known as do, if you're familiar with solfege, which we'll talk about more as we progress here. Um, how to find the other notes in a melody. Um, once you find home and you know where that is, we can talk about strategies for finding all the other notes. So you can learn melodies by ear, how to play them on your instrument or sing them, that kind of thing. Um, we will also learn how to hear meter or the time signature that a piece of music or a melody is in. Really important. That's kind of the underlying structure of the tune um, in terms of how music um, or how the time is repeated in uh, recurring patterns. Um, we'll also learn to how to hear the rhythm, which is how time is divided up in the unique way that makes that particular music or melody. Um, we'll also talk about um, outlines of particular harmonies and we'll begin with the tonic triad or the tonic chord or the home chord. Um, and how to hear that in its different configurations or inversions, if you're familiar with that term. Um, we'll continue on with how to hear intervals, and we'll start with the basics, just the major and perfect intervals. We'll talk about what that means, um, and then we'll progress to other qualities. Um, we'll also talk about, eventually, how to hear two-part harmony and pick out individual voices. And I've got some ideas for how we can work on that and hopefully make that a little bit easier. Um, and as I said, I will also include um, practice videos where I help you apply what we're talking about in the lessons. So, uh, so yeah, that's my goal with my channel here. And, um, you know, as all YouTube videos end, I want you to tell me how much you like the videos. Subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. Tell me what you want me to cover if there's some particular topic that I haven't covered. And uh, keep in touch, and I'll keep making these videos, and I'll see you later.